Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. We're on episode 30. We have done a lot. And, well, not quite 30 episodes, but this this town started at, I think, episode 8. I think 7 was the end of the of the original town. 8 moved into this one. And, wow, I mean, just look at the spread of this place. We've got four main farm areas. Cattle area forming in here. And... There's the original forester way up over there. The original forest is being chewed away. We could put another forester over here, but with the family out of money, with the uh, the addition of the warehouse, we can now set over, well, we already have done it once right here, set a centralized place to bring wood, nails, thatch, and even firewood into this part of town so that wherever we're, we're building, throughout the rest of it now they can grab from that point rather than walk all the way back to the corner there to get it so it really isn't a need for multiple foresters now with that addition but before we get going i do want to uh, uh, bring to your attention a couple of uh, smaller youtube channels that are playing this game that i'm enjoying watching in my spare time so be you for you go and check out her channel she's picked up ostrov and mr Soundwaves cubes so a couple of channels that uh, you might enjoy tuning in and, and uh, giving them some tips and, and uh, getting them started. They're, they're doing a good job already. Otherwise, comments that have come in, I want to thank um, is Keith Ford, Glenn Chon, and Lame Aker for all of your tips and ideas that have come in to give me some, uh, some clues on how to proceed from here. Uh, one of them has to do with using the warehouse system, not only to bring wood or building materials into a better location or like over can I get it from here I'm trying to do this all without moving it I think right over there yep over there we're using it to bring hemp from the farms actually both farms now over to where the the clothing production buildings are and I hadn't made the connection but I could do that also with I can right with sunflower and sunflower oil we could do that over here drawing the sunflower oil out of the oil workshop so he's not stuck at five all the time keeping Ratslav Ribnik working constantly because they'll keep taking it out as he's making it and then the trader right over here can go over there and grab it as well so there's an addition to work on and family out of money 33 you're right over here right yeah 0.04 I have a feeling that they're running out of money, their un inability to to uh, be hired or to, to stay at a job has to do with their distance away from certain jobs. That there are very few jobs in this area. Really, you've got two farms and you've got the clothing production and that's about it. And a couple of, uh, of these right here, the, the mills. So a lot of people living right here with very few permanent year-round jobs. So they're just going from seasonal job to seasonal job. If we got some more permanent uh, buildings over here, permanent uh, job positions over here, I think this would go away. So that brings to another idea that came up in the comments, was dealing more and more with cattle. The cost of a cow is 10, coming out of Balaklia. Balaklia, that's kind of fun to say. So 10 per cow, yet I think you get one hide, which breaks down into ten one-tenth hides. I have not confirmed, though, how many shoes comes out of that. But even if it's only one, one shoe will trade for 35. So if you're only getting one, we'll say, quantity, one unit of shoes out of one cow, you're still turning 10 into 35. If, you know, that one time I saw right there, that's the warehouse right there, I saw point five go away and one shoe appear so if it's half a leather then that's two units of shoes um, from one cow and that's 70 from a cow that costs 10 so it wouldn't be a bad idea to do a little bit of what i jokingly call a day trading there we go one half went away and one came in day trading in cattle bringing in the cows turning them in shoes sending them back out We'll see if we can't uh, turn this 500 into, what would that be? Seven times, so 3,500, just like that. Hmm. 
yeah you need to get into the stock market there and do a little trading anyway so that's something to think about and cow sheds over here might keep these guys employed so there's all that to think about stuff i'm going to be working toward this episode right now we're bringing the the harvest in which gives me the freedom to just sit here and talk because there's lots of people doing lots of jobs out over here and nobody is is uh, unemployed we still have two slots slipping over there and one over here so we're doing fine um, another announcement to make if any of you are are interested in the game RimWorld, they just released today uh, the beta 18 it used to be alpha but uh, Tynan has announced that 18 has finally brought an end to bringing brand new uh, uh, systems to the game that from now on it's just going to be fine-tuning and balancing and and uh, enhancing what is already there so we've gone out of alpha going into beta so basically RimWorld is in its final version now uh, short of just cleaning up what's there and making what's there work better so we're going to be getting into a, a, a RimWorld beta 18 series here in the next few days so my patrons from the patreon page will be the ones that crash land onto whatever rim world we we uh, were flying over when the ship breaks up and they're the ones that are going to start the series and then subscribers will be brought in as as more and more people join our colony and of course there's so many different biomes now in rim world that uh, we should have quite an interesting uh, environment to to land in as well as maybe i can land in a place that is near another biome or two so we can branch out later and get some other colonies going and, and get lots and lots of subscribers into that series so um hit the uh, the patreon page up there if that interests you to to jump in as a name character level and be there right from the very first episode which should be coming out sometime in the next week i'm gonna take a few days and remind myself how to play the game i haven't really played it seriously since alpha 13 that's when the last series that i ran ended uh, there's been a lot of improvements since then that was only a year ago so a lot has happened in a year anyway let's get into this episode um trying to figure out where the priorities are where do we start i'm gonna keep it running slow let these guys do all this while i'm figuring things out one of them would be to let's see to put a warehouse up in this area in fact i was wondering what to do with this little void here you know i've been trying to to keep the uh, the roads spread out i do want them to be able to turn the corner and go in so i was hoping to eliminate this uh this diagonal through here i could maybe do it with the warehouse so where is that right there yeah warehouse what if we turned you is there enough room hmm um are this way there might not be without taking the fence out i think that's what's going to happen so i was using the fence to uh try to divert traffic around and over and that didn't work so we'll see what the warehouse does if it's a little more solid of an object here all right so spin you zoom out a little so things don't spin so crazy and touch that i gotta go all the way to there to get out of this hmm okay then let's think about this direction like that what would that do road wise it would get rid of the diagonal. Now we've got a fence over here. Something like this. So if we use that fence as an entrance way, and then this area up here as an entrance way. Okay, that'll kind of clean things up a little bit. I feel like this fence should be a little bit shorter now. Yeah, there's enough room to get a cart in there, even a wagon. Yeah, I think we'll park you right there. Alright, you I do want moved up to the front so we can see that happen this time. So, there's no trading happening right now. No. Okay. Click away. We don't want to... Oh. Wait. Who? What? Huh? We are... Oh, we still have sunflower coming in. Ooh. Okay. Do I still have... I have up to 40 in here. Now, can I still? I cannot. You're right there. The timer has expired, but they're still on their way. I see. Because I see there's now more sunflower available. Um, you've got that. I, I, up, I upped it so that you would continue making. And we're still not bringing it in fast enough. Why is that? Because we're out searching for shoes. What are you guys doing? Yaroslav, you are show path. Um, 
you went to take a break. You sat on a bench over there. Aha. So from what I can tell, they go to their home, then they go find a bench, then they go back to work. So he's back to work. He's going to grab a cart and speed him up a little bit. Boom. He is off to go get another tenth of a shoe, aren't you? Reserve 1.4. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> well, I went ahead and set this up. I don't remember if I did it on camera last time or I did it right after I turned it off, but I was able to finally get shoes into here. So I thought we'd pull five shoes in just to see what would happen. Now, since it's, I think we've pretty well confirmed two shoes per cow, we had four or five cattle slaughtered. So hides, nothing sitting in there, nothing in there. So you don't need to be here anymore. And this brought in all the hides, the leather, excuse me, leather. So we've still got seven more shoes available right over here. Plus what's over here, which is basically nothing. Okay. No. Are you making one shoe or are you making one-tenth of a shoe? Hmm, now I'm still confused. Anyway, family out of money. So another cow shed over here, which could then hopefully grab fallow fields nearby. Now I've only seen pretty much all of these guys using the same fallow field, but I've always built them near each other, which may be why they use only the same fallow field. So maybe this one next time will jump into a field here or here, I don't know. Looking at the pathway though, if if it has to do with the pathway, that's the closest one, even though this is closer as the crow flies. So even down over here, this that would still be closer to a walking path. Mm, okay, but if we got a couple of cow sheds over here and then more um, more hay and hay storage. That might be a way to ensure jobs over here. Two or one? Well, one is only two jobs, so I would say it's going to take two to pull it off. So let's set those into the queue and get those started. So right there, cow shed, two of you. How to? You're going to want to walk through here to take them to the, uh, to the fallow fields. So... The cow shed over here, of course, that's not the uh, the most lovely place to want to live next to. All those interesting smells. Hmm. Let's hold down the shift, put you there, and put another one of you there. Are you kind of lined up straight? You're... I'm going to touch it slightly that way. All right, so the back is there. Now, boy, that... All right, that's as close as I'm going to get. Okay, you're there, and... Hmm, I guess it doesn't really matter about getting them close. Do something like that. I'm going to off the road a little bit so we get pathways going into them. And hay out over in this area. That is this one. Four should be more than enough. Aimed which way? That looks pretty good. Aim so that... Uh, we can see them easily from the position we're normally at. Uh, hold down the shift. One, two, three, and now over here, four. Okay, and probably two hay storage. That one is the one that was over here. And can I get them in be Oh, that is in between right there, okay. Then which way? Let's spin ya. Yeah, let's keep it this way. That way it can be seen along the side of the, the building that uh, we'll normally see from the angle we've got the, the map usually sitting. So something like that. Shift. Another one right there. Any reason for more than that? I'm thinking one of these purrs is enough to get through a winter. I think that's probably how it was designed. Okay, so that's going on. Uh, we're kind of done with housing for a while, so let's move you guys to the front. You're already working here. Is that a problem? It looks like everything... No, nope, we're still harvesting here. You're done. You're done. We're still middle of September, so we're doing great. This looks like it's all harvested. Just about. A little bit left. Over here, this is the last one. You're harvested. And here, this is the last one. You're harvested. We're good. Which means... Well... No, I can't change you yet, can I? A lot of these wheats were meant to be turned back into hemp. And I wanted to remember to do that. Right? Or was it just the one? No, this one is supposed to be hemp right here. So it has moved over to the next year. It has. Okay. So you're a hemp. And you're a hemp. 
So it was hemp wheat, hemp fallow. So hemp wheat, hemp fallow. Let's check these other ones. So only one wheat per cycle. It looks like that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. All right, you're good. And, yep, you're fine. All right, so that means all the crops now are cycled properly, right? I think so. Cow sheds are there. The warehouse is over there. All right, to the notes. I was going to put in a second oil press so I can get two people working simultaneously. Now I don't think we're going to need to do that. I think we're going to be pulling this out of here and keeping maybe even two people constantly working. In fact, we may need a lot more sunflower oil at that point. Hmm. That's very possible. Maybe not a complete farm. Maybe... Hmm. What if we put one more farm right here with just another half circle of, of farms and let the two of them kind of share the the eight or, or nine or ten or whatever it turned into? Yeah, that's a possibility. Though we still have a housing problem with nobody living out there. These guys would be built by then, so that would assist that one and that one. Okay. Um, you guys are coming in to pick up your sunflower oil. Do we still have sunflower going into the town? Sunflower oil one. Have you guys peeked out? You've not. So, no, I think we're going to be fine though. We have them in the uh, stalls. Sunflower oil, one point something over there stored. Um, this one? This one, one point something. And the furthest? No, the closest. I'm going to reverse some of these. Uh, you've got one point something, so we've got plenty out there. Okay. We've got some shoes kind of fighting their way out there. You guys, shoes are... No, two out of five. Okay. So that's 70 right there to sell. We're at 520 in our treasury. What is this looking like now? We are three quarters of the way through the year. Yeah, that's the end of, of Q3 there. Um, so income is significantly higher from last year. We have export a little bit more as well though so that's probably a lot of it local sales um, so three quarters we should be in the 900s we're in the tens so we're doing a little better than last year salaries three quarters what is that 13 and a half so we're paying a little more this year than we did last year by this point um, so we're going to end up where Negative 200, maybe? Negative 150? We'll see how that goes. Hmm. Okay. I'm curious to find out if we can ever get this town to where it's break even, paying the wages, and not doing any trading. That, to me, would be a success story for the town. That could be a series ender right there. That would be a goal accomplished. And the idea is to be able to get enough people buying enough quality items like shoes and clothes in the local markets. Speaking of, we've got to get a few more local markets out here. Such that, because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I, I just haven't been able to confirm it, that the something like shoes that sells for 35 in the trader, I think will sell for 3.5 at the one-tenth mark selling in the stalls. I think there's enough people here to keep buying enough of it to keep these guys constantly out of them where you got shoes coming, as soon as they get there, they'll, they'll immediately be sold. So, such that we could be self-supporting. So that's kind of the goal, and by bringing in a lot more cows this next time, though selling the, you know, with day trading, you've got to have funds in your pocket to buy the stock in order to quickly resell it at a quick profit. We've got to be able to buy the cattle, so we've got to get some, we've got to get a burst of, uh, of, uh, of income, and we're doing that right now with a sunflower that's being sold right there so that's going to give us a good shot in the arm it'll be 30 times it was 10 wasn't it yeah 150 so it'll be 300 coming in which would buy 30 cattle if the trader from um Balaklia, i like saying it but i'll never remember it <laughs> does happen to come in in time to sell us those cows which we happen to be able to to process quick enough to be able to make the shoes so when these guys happen to come in next, they're already in stock and ready to sell. It's a little bit of a gamble, just like buying stocks. 
will everything line up just the right timing to unload that thing at the profit that we were hoping for or not anyway one is gone one is still being loaded up is there anything else i need to be doing before i can kick this speed up swap wheat and hemp times three what did that mean? oh that was up in here that's all done okay um yeah sometimes i gotta stare at my notes and scratch my head what was i saying uh lumber back on i did that one already we're back to two guys over there these are the notes that i write when i'm sitting back watching last episode editing it finding the little spots where i thought about saying one thing and said something entirely different and didn't recognize it because I was already two thoughts ahead thinking about something else. So then I listened to myself and say, why did I say that? So I'll stick a little text in there uh, explaining what I meant to say. And while I'm doing that, I'll start to notice things that I didn't notice because I was busy staring at this and didn't notice something move across the screen over there that I need to correct in the next episode. So more potatoes to the trader needed to be corrected, right? Yeah, it's coming in now. So let's take this up to what? Potato, we have eight. And in the harvest, there's 30. Let's grab a total of 30 here. So 25 more. Right there. Because we still have plenty out there, right? There's not much there. So these guys, potato. Yeah, we still got one in that one. One in that one, basically. Yeah, there's potato out there. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they've all got it in their homes by now. Um, what else on the list? All of that. Cows, warehouse. Um, I think my list is almost done. Yep, I think so. Now we just play. Cool. Three. Speed her up. What is happening here? We need to bring all this stuff in. So I'm going to go ahead and leave uh, the majority of these guys in place until everything gets brought in. That should, should, give these guys an income for a while if they would just stay. I see, they keep, wow, we're bringing in all the stuff, aren't we? We got nothing stored. So they're awaiting all of this. How are they awaiting it? Oh, we've got five people in the household, four of them, except for the four month old, are all out bringing this stuff in. Interesting. So there's one of them just came in. There's another one just came in. I wonder how quickly it's going to... There's another one. There's four of them that just returned. But I'm not seeing an update here. I have to click the house again? No. Are they... Is this the total they're going to bring now? Water comes in at one. Family out of money. Okay, let's slow down here. And... Oh, we have multiple families out of money. Hmm... The Ivanenkos are doing fine, but the uh, the para para dairies para dairies they're in trouble. You guys, they're 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 doing fine. So over here, we're sure waiting for water. That's a little worrisome. Why are we waiting so much for water? Where are these folks? They aren't statues somewhere, are they? They didn't uh, land down here in the. Uh, no, we still have Sophia and Makita. Hmm. Have to keep an eye out for more statues. Statues are bad. Still have our cows? Still have them. <laughs> I did do a little bit of planting over here, though. So I put a fence in just before this episode started. I think before I start each episode, I'll kind of wander around and look at pathways and see what I can do to uh, kind of clean them up and... And uh, make little parks and add trees. I see we definitely have a, a place here we could do something. Or at least get some trees planted. Could do that. Let me show you something. Some, some of you have seen me do this. But, uh, of course, if you hold the shift, you can plant multiple trees. But if you R or T, it rotates. So if you just hold the R down and kind of click, it goes in in a random orientation. So it doesn't start to look like a cookie cutter of the same tree. So we could do something... Like that, it'll all look like different trees. Cause they're all spun around. I saw Vapa doing that when he was working in his. Uh, oh, what was it? it? Was a city skyline or was it Planet Coaster? I don't know one of them. He was spinning them around as he was putting them in, and thought that was a great idea. Hmm. Okay, turn you back on. Well, they're already filling this. Oh, they're out of her 
from over here filling that up, aren't they? What was the last one? Oh, we got a warehouse in, but who's... Pause, who's doing this? There. Nobody's... Oh, we're out of mowing season, so it's not going to tell me anymore. Okay. But, you're in. I'm going to go down to two so I can think about things a little bit and not worry about what I'm missing somewhere else. You, I want you to bring in sunflower oil. And let's bring in messenger from. Okay. And take you down to one for a moment. That's not the one we wanted, but anyway. You and then sunflower. And we'll bring in 50 of those. And we'll set two workers in there to just have a ball. No point in taking from other warehouses. I'm kind of rethinking my idea over here of having these guys deal with firewood. They seem to be making a lot of trips just dealing with firewood. And I think that's a mistake. They never really get to the other stuff because firewood is a one per trip. Even if they're stealing from this one. And they're one per trip and never getting to the hemp. So I think we're going to pull firewood out of these and we're going to set up one devoted entirely to firewood. So he does nothing but firewood. Heck, I better do that now while I'm thinking of it because it'll be one of the things that I've, I'll be editing this episode and thinking, oh, I still didn't do that. Okay, write it down for next time. Where would that be? I mean, I'm thinking more of the, you know, in the center of the majority of the, of the housing, but we're kind of getting a little congested here. I mean... We've got kind of a spot right there, but that's a good-sized building. It looks like a little building till you try to squeeze it into somewhere. Then it's not so little. I would need you to be, like, right there, and that's not going to happen. Where else would happen? No point in going into the, the city center over here because the firewood's right there. It needs to be out here somewhere. Where is here? Can't go into these pathways. We've actually built ourselves out of room. So over here, that would give a good destination to force a pathway across this, wouldn't it? Ooh, I like that. Well, let's try that again. Q goes that way, R goes that way, and T goes that way. I'm glad it's not just me. I've watched BU4 you do that a few times. Try to reverse the R and go to the E. Just That's just the natural tendency of where to go. So maybe one of these days hotkeys will be changeable. And I'll swap that out. Because I never use the Q and E. I always rotate by holding the center mouse button down and doing this sort of thing. So, right there's where I'm thinking. With the door, spin you around here. The door aimed right at the center of that path. So something like that. And do I get you to the road? <clears throat> or do I keep you from walking back behind? I could use a fence to do that. Let's keep you right at the road. Okay, you go there. And when that's all done, I can pop a little fence across there. Anyway, um, I was doing a messenger. That's why I slowed down right there. You guys want to buy more sunflower oil. Well, I just might oblige you there. All right, what is happening here? We are waiting for someone to get going. And since uh, I went through the entire town and took down all of the wages to 100%, um, no women no laborers and let's set you guys to 110 for now just to get this filled and get this going so i can get him working again so i can get this happening and once that's done i can put two people in here but great reserve two there's now three in here he should take off and go get some food and not do any work okay never mind <laughs> but with that we've got already in stock 12. So let's commit those 12 right now. And then maybe toward the end of the 14 days. Wow, 10 days of 11 days have gone by that fast. Hmm. Gotta stop talking. Of course, then you'll stop watching. A lot of you watch just because I talk too much. Deal. 12, come get those. Another 120 coming into the system. Building us up toward when Blacklia starts to. What does that remind me of? old show huh well I'll scratch my my memory there it's something of the TV era of something like Mork and Mindy there's another two guys that were from some f little foreign country and, and it sounded like Blacklia and now yeah, I can't think of what that one was not 
bosom buddies, was it? I don't remember now. Anyway, I just just brought up an old memory. Anyway, <laughs> this is built and getting stored. We're working on these. And I can kick the speed back up. I think so. Nope, not you. Let's go to let's go to three for a little while. So what's my timing on here? Twelve more days. And that's about twelve days. So we'll say below the three is where I need to need to be watching up there. Otherwise, farms emptied. We're basically done here. Take you guys down. Um, let's pause a moment. Family's out of money. Who's out of money? How do we salvage these guys? They are the Paraderi. Paraderi family. You are the Hubich family. And there was a third. There. Uh... You're not in the... There we go. Oh, that was the Paradary. Okay. I'm going to make sure that they stay employed. That's kind of what I'm getting at. Until this happens. So, Paradary. You aren't in here, right? Or Hubich? Nope. You guys aren't. Okay. Take you guys down. And the last one can clean up the last couple things in the last field. We're cleaned up. Okay. Leave one in there for the winter to take care of the cows. And we'll call that done. Waiting for this to hit three. You have got one and a half fields left. You guys are done. That's the last field. So, family out of money. And you are going to... Oh, we have someone over here now. Who I probably just fired, right? The Didic family. Okay. There's another name to keep in mind. So, this one. Who do we want to let go? Not you. So, all of these are fine. There's a Hubich right there. Okay, so you will stay. And you'll run this one for the winter and take care of the cattle. Over here, that's the same one? Yeah. Hubich. Okay. So over here, these guys are all cleaned up and ready for next year. And you need to stay, so you go away. And Ivaninko, you're doing really good right now. I think I'm going to set you loose. You're right there. 21. Yep. I think you can fend for yourself now. It's now the, the Hubiches that need some help until we get enough jobs for everyone to, to stay stable. Okay, are we there yet? Um, I'm thinking there's seven or eight days left by where that's sitting. Five days. Hmm, it's closer than I thought. So just past the seven is where we're aiming. Okay. And speaking of, what has been brought in besides the 12? Nothing. Why is that? We'll bring someone else into there. Another family out of money. You are that one. Trading post and market stall. You guys are got some pretty good jobs there. Unless you're the one I just brought in. Um, and just got the job. No. Yeah. What am I not getting here? Where'd you go? Market stall. There you go. Didic. Yurima, Yurima, trading post. Oh, you're the manager. You get paid a darn good wage. What is going on there? We bought clothes. <laughs> Did we buy shoes? No. Um, nothing's really out of ordinary here. Interesting. Let's watch you for a little bit. I mean, that should be... Of course, I'm at full speed. And let's not watch too long. Did I lose it? Whew, two days left. Did it do me any good? 12 was already committed. Um, where are you at? You're right there. And you're right there? Huh? Oh, you're, one of you are returning from the last sale. That must be what's going on. Okay. So, we still only have 12 in here. And I can't get anybody to bring any more over. We've got capacity of 40 so why all this time are you guys stuck bringing shoes and potatoes is that what's going on awaiting a potato okay well let's bring another one in and see if we can't get a few of these in um let's take you to day two so we'll run you at three speed day one and stop. All right. Sunflower oil. Let's do a series of threes. 
Let's do four of them and see if these guys can bring in 12 by the time 18 more days comes up. Problem is, once this one arrives, they're no longer going to do anything but load that up. But 18 days may give them time for four people to load that up, so it's possible. So let's do another deal, one more, and one more. They'll cancel out what doesn't work, but we'll take what does. Okay, so waiting for yeah, potatoes and shoes. Let's get this one filled. A um, couple things. One, let's up this one to make sure that that fills. And then are you a different family? You are the Carpio. Hmm, we're starting to hurt all over the place now. What are we going to do about all of this? It's hard to justify paying them through the winter to do nothing. Um, let's, let's pay you to do a job that's important. Let's open up a few of these. We get, we're full of thatch, nothing to do there. We're doing great on those. I don't need any more carts. Um, we're getting pretty full on wood. Let's get more traders going. I'm not traders, warehouse haulers. Let's do that and get all this stuff brought in. Three guys there and over here we already have four guys. We don't need four there now. Oh, who did I fire? Because we're not doing firewood anymore so we're actually we're going to fill this up really quick. It may already be filled. No, it's not. Hemp. Well, how much hemp is available? That's really what counts. Over here, there's only seven hemp left. Over here, there's none yet that's next year so really this is going to have to be pared down here pretty soon we could bring in possibly another worker here though yeah i would say that's possible um so i can run this thing i think so let her run take it down to two but yeah i'm gonna to have to continue uh letting people go for the winter so we're gonna have some uh Hard times ahead of us here, aren't we? Hmm. More construction going? Could. I don't really need more fishing, but it would give these people an easy job to get to. Could, yeah. So let's go ahead and click a couple times. There, gotcha. Turn you back on. And more houses? Not really yet. Really what I want to do is hire a bunch of people for the shoe industry. That would give us some work. But it's possible until I get more jobs figured out or spread out, we could get something going on over here too for more permanent work. Um, we're gonna actually have some families move out. It's possible. We do have a definite trail coming in from their our uh, time rift portal over here. Another family out, that's the Hubiches. And they're kind of making it. I still a little worried about this though all of this stuff waiting to come in I mean there's a lot of a lot of people in the family so they could be all out doing that but I'd love to find a hubich and follow them pause who are you you are a Philip hubich and you are going to work right you're grabbing a cart so you're going to work and your work is a laborer okay so let's just follow these folks for a while see what's happening you went in there <clears throat> yeah, as the Hubich's world turns you are age nine what are you doing you went from this house to this house so you're visiting your kid you're playing so if you're a kid and you're playing then how could we have four five different groups of th waiting 1.41 shoes no wonder you're broke. And we have no water. And we've been waiting that water for a long time. I wish I could click on anything in here and go and track where that is. We don't have a well that's down or anything like that, do we? You have got plenty of water. We don't have another well out in this area, do we? That could be an issue. And that's an issue, for, at least for this area, that could be resolved right here. Let's put a well out in this area. Um, spin you? Yeah, probably so. Put a well out over here. Like that. And... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that one. So I can... 
I built a warehouse, but yeah, we did put another one in. A well over there, need markets over here. But over here, ah, cattle well, yes. And water over here. Okay, good. Glad I accidentally discovered that. Where do you live? That's a possibility. So is something like this. Kinda. Boy, that's that's a little tight. Otherwise, I can put it in crooked. Otherwise, you can go away. Yeah. Um, what? You click the demolish, and it fills up. Interesting. <laughs> okay, well, so you probably would look better right up alongside this building. Okay, you're there. So these guys need to get built. Uh, that one probably more important than anything else. Okay, so with that, what else is happening? Do we have more than 12 in here? Actually, we're loading right now. If I pause you and see that we have 12 in here right now, but we've already put zero in here. We have none extra. Hmm, why is that? I'm waiting for potatoes. So we're still out getting other things. Well, I could do... Well, I have men hired in there so we have temporary workers available as well reserve sunflower oil out of money okay we're taking that and putting it in there okay the next cart is all the way over here now yep that deal is going to fail too so that's all we're going to sell this year I guess I missed you over here you guys are still afloat waiting for water hmm all these people that are waiting for water. You're there. You are not waiting for water, though. Thank goodness you've got water. Did you guys ever get your water? We're always waiting for water. That What's got me worried is that these two are always waiting for water now, too. Waiting for water. Because... No, you're not. You're not the right house. Here? It's right there. You know what I noticed? We have nothing in the house anymore. Something's gone completely wrong with the Rashitnik family. $278 in the house. Wealth is going crazy. We are waiting for all the stuff. We have no foods. So this house is definitely uh, crashing on us. Maybe part of where some of our money's going. I don't know. Um, Sophia, that's who I'm looking at. Okay. So they're doing fine. They have the windmill and the farm. Okay. That was a well that went in. Good. This was the Makita household. They're barely making... Oh, you're the Karpyuk family. Because Makita is, a, is now an unemployed statue. That's a problem. And they'll never, ever get water in their house again. Because they'll always be waiting for it. <laughs> there needs to be a manual way to... I don't know, to, to, to say cancel that water. You don't need it that badly. Go, go off and try it again. Hmm. Are we using our little parks? Kinda. Yep, we've got somebody sitting in there. And other little parks that have just gone in are over here. There. And is anybody sitting next to the living statues? Yep. Nope, that's the living statue. There's Mik Makita. Okay. Anyway. You just left which means nope you're the one that filled up all right we've got no sunflower oil so that one was a complete failure so you guys go away it didn't do any good you're waiting for sunflower oil but it's kind of too late they're gonna leave before it happens we can yeah there they go i noticed that last time i was editing i went off to look at something else while uh while this uh one took off and went home all right so which means this whole deal has been canceled Um, okay, I'm a little confused here. Maybe it happened. According to this, seven of those 12 actually got out. Okay, well, I'll, I'll just say thank you and not try to understand it. Hmm. Okay, you guys are waiting for firewood. You're not that bad over here. You guys are... 
Still waiting for all of these, and we have nothing left in the house. I'm thinking we've got... And that's out of food. Hmm. I do wonder if we have some errors creeping in. Like... That's Makita. Yeah. Now, out of food eventually means that they move out. Will Makita cease to exist? Will that eventually clear up this problem? That's interesting. We're trying to go get firewood. I'm assuming cow shed. Okay, let's try and find her. And we're going into into autumn right now. Cow shed. Uh, start with an H. Something like Helen or Helena or Helenia or something like that. No, I'm missing one right there. Right there. You are right now doing that. Okay. And that's your home. Let's watch her for a while. And there's a circle under her. Where are you at? You're right there, I'm assuming. Okay, now you're going to get water. There you are. So when you are not working anymore, you're right there. Are you going to go get that firewood? No, you're... That, boy, a little distraction there. Almost, uh, almost surprised me. Um, because we're call constantly calling for a little one tenths that keeps them busy. Okay, you are now here, so you went home. Okay, so you're at home and you're going off to sit. Messenger you're from, ooh, that's the one that I want. So you're going off to sit for a while. So you go home first and you go and sit on a bench to rest. I'll continue long enough that to happen then I got to get to work on that and we've got our our seed money in to go and buy our cattle to get the clothing industry going you're gonna sit there I'm gonna pause you and just wait a moment okay you guys I want cows how many dare I take let's well this will we'll finish the episode with this how did we do last year what is our actual loss for a year taking trading out of the loop we brought in 830 and we sent out none well reverse that that's okay income coming in we sold 830 and we didn't buy anything okay so if that 830 wasn't there we would have lost 400 so we'd be sitting so we had a so that mean we have a loss of 400 outside of trading we had a loss of 400 Hopefully I'm reading that right. I think I am. Balance. Yeah. Yeah. So basically minus the export from our balance for the year. We're So we're going to lose a bit more. So we'll say we lost 500. So we lost 500 for the year. Okay. So if this whole thing fails, I shouldn't spend more than 4 480 to keep it above zero for next year. That's the thought. We'll see if that reasoning works out. 480 in cattle. What does that look like? So here and cows, bulls, and oxen. It doesn't matter which one, right? If I take you down, put you up, it's 10 per no matter what. We're allowed to get in 10 of each. 10, 10, there's 200, 400. So if we brought everything in we possibly could, that would take us down to 580. And if we lose 500 by the end of the following year, then we should be, by then we should have all these shoes sold. Am I reasoning that correctly? I hope I am because I'm going to do it. <laughs> we could sell potatoes, right? Uh, over here. Zoom out. And there. Potatoes in stock right now. 11 out of 30. What is left in the town? Why are there no potatoes? In the oh, there you are. 28.9. Okay. So 20.9 potatoes in the town. Okay. So by the time these guys get in here... We could have plenty more. Sunflowers coming in. All right, we'll put 
we'll leave that guy set up, but I'm going to take your, your wage back down. Right there. Okay. So we'll have four people hauling in a bunch of potatoes. Let's bring in... Oh. Let's bring in potato... Uh, in fours deal. We'll do two of those for now. And next episode, let's bring in another you know, three or four of, of those groups of four as well. By then, hopefully, we will have moved a bunch of it in. Though they've got to go all the way out to here to get it. So that's not as guaranteed. So with that, if you followed half of my reasoning for all of this, and if I've done anything wrong or, or uh, other tips to help me out, then please leave some comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching. This has been Noble Rambler, and I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye.